There's a few things I want to show you today. This is my homemade gnat spray. Uh, it works really well. These are the oils that I use. Citronella, cedar wood, and lemongrass. I mix it with a few oils and some alcohol and water. Put it in a small spray bottle and it works great. This is a landscape bucket, and if you look really closely, do you see all of the yellow flies? There are hundreds. Why are they stuck on this? Well, you know they're attracted to black, and the trick is you hang this up and you put some uh, substance on it, which I will go to the cookhouse and get for you so that you can see. We're entering the cookhouse now. This is to let the cat go in and out as he pleases. This is the substance that we get. It's called Tangle Trap. And my husband also says that Lucas Oil, regular Lucas Oil, you can get the hardware store, that that works also. You put it over that black bucket hang it upside down in a tree and they will all come and you will be relieved no more biting flies they come out when the blackberries come out and they go away July 4th literally on that day you will see no more <laughs> I'm just going to show you a little bit of the compost pile the right side has a, a lot of the older stuff and this side is where I go ahead and throw things in when I have them from my kitchen and look how happy my worms are Lots and lots of worms. The right side of the pile is ready for me to take any of the worm castings. <clears throat> this right side has been cooking for a long time. And the way, the way you do this is you expose it to the sun and all the worms will go down to the bottom and then you scrape off the, the top two or three uh, inches and then you'll just take out any little debris and then you'll have worm castings, black gold they call it. It helps to fight pesticides, parasites, it fertilizes, it's really great. This is something I want to show you. It is where we make our manure tea. Set it up high with the nozzle and laid at the bottom and inside you will hang bags of manure, chicken manure, cow manure, and we put a crossbar across the rim and then we just put a lid on it or a, um, uh, some kind of screen on it so the mosquitoes don't get in there. Sometimes we use a square screen cover if it'll fit. But it's really simple and boy when it comes out it is good. You have to aerate it. And we have a small electrical system here where we go ahead and put a little fish aerator pump in there. Do it for a few days and then you go ahead and pull the bags out. Let them hang and drip for maybe 10 hours or 12 hours. Then you go ahead and you get your tea. You have to get your tea like pretty soon, like within a day and put it out on your plants within a day because it'll, it will spoil. It works really good. The last time I brought you out here, we were talking about how we're going to extend this. We got a little bit of it done. It's gone out this far. We're going to, um, you know, close it in on the other side. That little eggplant's coming right there. See it? This is the inside. It's been cleaned out a little bit. Um, my pineapples are still down there. And this is the end of my Everglades tomato plant. One plant. <laughs> it's like an octopus. But um, here's the main stem. But it's about had it. I got a few, a few holdovers hanging on. So we'll be, this is the other side, the inside. So we'll be closing this in all around here and extending this out. 
going to be really nice. And I got my first Florida rose this season. I wanted to show you these turmeric plants. I had the roots oh, I, about six months ago, and I planted them in these buckets. Spring came. They didn't come up. And I realized that I planted the roots like eight or ten inches below the surface, which I don't know what I was thinking. So I pulled them out, replanted them a couple inches below the surface with my granddaughter's help. And then within a few days, we had small sprouts. And now this is two weeks later. So there is hope for redemption if you make a mistake. Okay. Thank you.